Welcome back to Light Crusader. So now... Okay, yeah, ready to jump through time and space, apparently. Yes, we uh, are. What did, what, what did what does this have to do with time travel? Uh, the developers ran out of... Uh, the developers felt like uh, doing modern settings, so, so they just threw in the time travel thing as an excuse. Okay. And also, um, yeah, basically, audience, in between doing Part 6 and Part 7, I myself have a Sega Mega Drive. Awesome. Welcome to... Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Liz. Welcome to the world of nightmares. I've prepared eight worlds for you. Okay. okay. Wonder throughout eternity. Ooh. All right. First, we're uh, here. The future. Where are we? The future! Ah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, it seems to be the future. <laughs> oh, holy shit! <laughs> even though, I, I love how even though it's a machine, it screams like a human. And it, it so, drops something like blood. So basically, we're in the Amazon factory. So, there you go. By Amazon, I mean the website. Uh, that. points for... Again, points for thinking outside of the box, too? I... Yes, but <laughs> this is a bit too. I, I will uh, start classifying this outside the box as Lovecraftian outside the box. Are you on the moon or something? Oh, it's because um, in the, in this particular world, there's a gravity uh, control. But if I hit that co that computer right there, there you go. Now it's on 0.6 g. Now it's on 10 g. Basically, uh, I can alter the the gravity and uh, jump higher as a result. So basically, this will be necessary to solve some of the puzzles. Yeah, for, 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 I, was, I was just thinking to myself, what if, um, what if, what if that keeps, go what if you have to be quick, otherwise if that gets too low, you'll be crushed by too much gravity and die. <laughs> Gotta push that thing away, there you go. No! I gotta put in my, more gravity. There you go. The 10G. No, 5.5G. 1G. No. Mm. Alright, this should do. Let's try it. Do, do, do. There we go. Done. Alright, I see what's in the next room. Ow. <laughs> now, uh, uh... Nothing! A, a pointless room, thank you. Okay. And now we're, and now we're beating, yeah. uh... Poly the defense system from, of the Giant of Babel from Final Fantasy IV? I guess. Uh... uh. Yeah, what this game. Yeah, yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, this game took a sudden weird turn. <laughs> uh, do I have to expect all the other eras to be weird like that? Yes, you do. Uh, uh, I, 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 uh, Teo, during the making of this space of, of this particular floor, a lot of weed was consumed. A lot of weed. <laughs> oh, so this is. So basically, this was the inspiration that Akira, Akira Hina had for all his crazy plot twists. Beat them. Seriously, I'm I'm actually surprised that in the latent series, into in have like fake time travel involved. Well, actually, Dwebs. Um, no, 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 real time travel. Oh, uh, well, Dwebs. Um, if it if it makes if it makes you consider it, uh, the fifth, the new, the new fifth um, cross media franchise that's going to be shown at uh, L5 Vision uh, is apparently going to be a sci-fi franchise. So oh, cool. may maybe you can expect that. Yeah, sounds, sounds interesting. Ah. Uh, okay, pl plot twist. It's, um, I know. Also, Dwebs, like I said before, uh, remember, uh, the whole the whole fake town shit, that's just in Layton. The other games don't have that yeah. kind of plot twists. On, die. Die gruesomely already. Yeah. There you go. You gain chicken. Alright, boss fight uh, against what the fuck? Uh, uh, I put jelly. Who would have? We're fighting. How do you damage this thing? Okay, basically, here's how this boss battle works. I actually have to beat not the the jelly itself, but the core, as I'm about to demonstrate. So there you, you have go. To beat that. That's my target right there. That's Spike Ball. Oh, okay. I guess you have to beat it quick before all the jelly comes back onto it. Very good, Whips. Come on. He's gonna kill you! Now, you oh, now it's there, gonna there kill go. me. Da, 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 da. 
Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, started. basically these are eight mini dungeons, as you can see. Okay. Behold, as I piss lightning on you. <laughs> <laughs> He cuts at you. There we go. Now I just need to cut my magic. There we go. And we there got a we lot go. of food for it. Well, gee, thank you. Can't what? hold no more. Oh no, it's a meant to. Go ahead, uh, go ahead. Oops. I'm one of King Garriott's wizards. Actually, it's it a little bit of wizards, just for the sake of him having something to do. Oh, so finding the revival of evil demon and praise on us in the eight worlds. So, if you have the eight of us who are imprisoned, we will help you defeat the man of darkness. But just because you helped us. Khan? Because we're dicks. <laughs> Alright, uh, basically, the, the world I go when I enter the crystal depends on when, on where the crystal is turned, to which statue is turned. And okay, so now, now we're in and, Japan. And, and, yes, and now we're in Japan. Wow, feudal Japan, okay. Because, also, why not, yeah. right? Also, well, this game was made in Japan, and, and now so... we're fighting Shinobi, or I'm rather, of course. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm questioning. <laughs> I, lo I, love I love the death of Christ. Ah, <laughs> I'm questioning in my head to whether to play Shinobi uh -huh. music or the Trick House theme from Ruby and Sapphire. <laughs> ah. ah, where's John Musashi when you need him? Well, does doesn't he sound so in pain when he gets killed? Ah. ah. <laughs> oh, no, stop, come back. <laughs> I mean, I mean, what if, what if, what if, what if, he, what if we had tried to have him record a laughter voice? <laughs> About this, ha, ha, the ha, the ha, 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 the, the closest one they have is a, uh, hmm, I guess. Well, right. one of the best synthesized laughters ever for the NES uh, Genesis titles is the one of Grandmaster Mayo from the first Strider game. Oh yeah, speaking of Strider, I actually got that at a heavy discount. The 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 the, the, the reboot. The, yeah, on PS4. All right, so basically this so is. How do you uh, get the treasure chest without getting your self, you know, bald? Uh, your guess is as good as mine, Teo. Uh, let me guess. Isometric perspective that fucks you up anyway. Yeah. Ugh. You. The pro I, you I, I have you no know idea about the. Answer. Answer. Yeah. What I because said, it's free tea! When I said that, I, I said, when I said that, I meant puzzles! No! 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 This come on, Professor! Come on, Professor! It's good for your health! For your health! Jump them! For my health! I'm jumping right near balls of fire! Come on, Professor! Beat them! Ah! <laughs> uh, wow! I'm good Have some fish! Oh, my sword fighting skills are awesome! All right, the game uh, I'm not really sure about fencing is compatible with if only, katana fighting. If only Luke was here, I could have told him to hold all my food. Beat them. Beat oh, them. great, more shinobis. All right, so the boss battle in this dungeon is just an endurance run against shinobis, basically. Oh, right. Uh, a bit lame, but I guess it's for the sake of variety. Ah, ah, ah. ah. <laughs> That's gonna be. It, that's reminds gonna... Me of the, it reminds me of the hit of the cry to happen when you get hit when you're playing Space Invaders Invasion Day. Alright, uh, go ahead. Sure. Same voice, you want a different one? What, do what you want. Oh, you're saying. Oh, never mind, never mind, I forgot. Yeah, yeah I forget. <laughs> but it's, it's because, it's because uh, they, they all said the exact same thing, so I figured, eh, let's just skip it. Oh, hell. Well, almost. Who well, else, actually? Because remember, oh, I, I still don't have the final maximum life, so. And now we're in. Oh, never mind. I, 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 I already went for this. Oh, so. Excuse me. Sure. Next one. And now we're in a farm. A farm? Okay. Ooh. Okay. Uh, it's, it's a nice tech farm, maybe? <laughs> Actually, too, th these are the exact same things that were in the basement, the, the main dungeon. It, they just put it here because they, I guess they couldn't afford to design something different for this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And there we go. And I only now I just realized that this thing actually stops the fires. Oh well. 
<laughs> oh, goody. Great. Uh, more fire statues. But I'm not falling it for this time. Haha. <laughs> There we go. Yep, the, the music for this dungeon is actually really nice, actually. The po yes, the puzzle is that easy, ladies and gentlemen. Just flick the all three switches. Alright, there you go. Moving on. Aren't there any enemies? And oh, now we're, and now we're fighting... fighting cowboys? Yes, now we're fighting cowboys. Uh, so this is a western setting? I guess, yeah. I just... <laughs> uh, again, variety? <laughs> is this classic uh, Mega Drive uh, slash NES logic from back in the day? <laughs> you will never see something that crazy in this day and age. Oh, come on, Teo. As like Dweb's just brought up, uh, Layton can get pretty crazy. I know, but not... I mean... All it's self-contained and makes sense in the end. Here, you just jump around. Why? Because! <laughs> okay. Okay, so basically this... Uh, I have to push that barrel obviously, towards the door, but obviously, as you can see, that's easier said than done. But that's okay, because all I have to do is push it here. And there we go. There you go. Alright. Beat them. Or cowboys and barrels. Oh boy, shoot the barrels itself. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> the problem is now you have to re-enter the room in order to make the barrels respawn. Actually, huh? no, this is a beat them room, so... Oh, okay. You gain bread. And now we're fighting, uh, this thing. I... suggest maybe? I... I don't... It's a bun a combination of balls that forms a snake. I just... Um, I don't... What? How does this even fit with the western setting? I don't know. Again, maybe Desert War, Malatremors... I, I don't, don't know. I... I... Whatever. But, okay, um, so ki it's kind of similar... It is vulnerable. Okay, basically, I have to be it's the um, the head of it, aka the one that's in the very front of it. You know, this, the one that's uh, jumping oh, okay. around. The problem is that that's easier said than done, especially when um, look right there. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's basically just do your best mm -hmm. to to hit the the front uh, ball. I know sometimes it can be hard to tell what it is, but oh well. <laughs> sure. Ah. Uh. Come on. If he wasn't just jumping around all the fucking time. <laughs> I guess they can all be like the scorpion. I guess. I mean, come uh... on. Oh, you're barely through a bit. <laughs> and it's not like because it's difficult, but because it keeps running away. Yeah. Hey, like the, the, what, what hey Dwebs, uh, while you were gone, we fought some cowboys. So apparently this is a western setting. And you're probably, okay. uh, you're probably asking, why the hell is the boss of a western setting world this thing? Uh, I don't know. It just is. Uh, yeah, I was, just, I was just sorting out some stuff. I'm going to be seeing Now You See Me too on Friday. Alright then. Confirmed. It's going to kill you! Not this time. Haha. <laughs> There we go. And here comes generic wizard number four. First four, first four, first four, first four. Gan first four, first this four. Mr. Gandalf standing. Yeah, unfortunately we couldn't. Unfortunately, Ian McKellen wasn't available. So, um... all right, this time we're going into war. War. What? Uh, <laughs> beat them. It's uh, we're American we're soldiers. soldiers? Yes. Is this World War One or the American Civil War? I don't even. It's war, basically. We're in a uh, war. So there you go. There's, I, yeah. There's I this, just, uh... I guess. Beat them. No, 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 no. Oh. 
Oh, more tars? Sure, why not? Why are we slashing down telescopes? More tars, dweebs. Mo more tars, dweebs. We're used to, you know, tars. like telescopes. <sighs> you don't exactly see the moon with those dweebs. Beat them. Beat them. 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 Yeah, but we have fucking guns. They are cheating. That's okay. <laughs> um, remember, Final Fantasy VIII uh, logic, Teo. Swords beat everything. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm confused. What, didn't the main character have a sword that can also be a gun? No, 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 Dwebs. That's the thing about the Gunblade in 8. The Gunblade in Final Fantasy 8 is stupid beyond belief because it's literally half of a gun with a sword taped onto it. There's not even any way for the gu gun to actually, actually fire. Yeah, the, the, the only, no, the only reason for the gun to be that because it's not used for, for firing a shot in the sense that uh, firing a projectile is supposed to kill, but to fire explosive shells during the moment you're cutting the enemy with in order to inflict extra damage with the explosion. And now we're fighting a giant tank! Tank! What? So, <laughs> but the problem is, Reeves, uh, that... Oh God, uh, it too. Uh, no, 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 actually, cue the music from Metal Gear Solid 1. Uh, um, which one? Which one? The Twin Snakes one or the MGS one? Uh, the, the original, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, it's very also tough, apparently. That... Anyway... I have no grenade. I have no grenades, though. Yet, yet, yet. Uh, the problem, Dweebs, is that when you're, by the logic of this, uh, the moment you activate the explosion, it's when you're the closest to the enemy, so you also get the explosion in your face. So, again, the gunplay is completely pointly, is completely fucked up as a weapon. It makes it, 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 as well. It's uh, amazing. No, well, well, wonders of wonders, Dweebs, in, in Final Fantasy XIV, they actually managed to make the gunblade somewhat plausible. Because it's not always angle. It's basically a a blade that folds it, into a gun. Ah, uh, but metamorphs. Uh, the the ah. closest so thing uh, the I people, saw. So, so of all the people to make to make something more plausible, it's Matsuo Toriyama. Well, to, uh, Actually, I'm no, pretty sure Toriyama doesn't actually design the weapons there are, himself. There are gun gun blades and gun halberds in Final Fantasy XIV, and those make sense because they are actually uh, kind of like mini guns mounted on top of blades, so you can just right. point the gun the blade in a direction and fire a shot with it. Yeah, well. Well, uh, I, I didn't really know that, because that's not my class in 14. Actually, it's not for a class, it's for the Garleans Empire. So enjoy that, it's the enemy who has them. <laughs> oh, <laughs> joy. If I, ever, if I ever restart 14, because I'm on a bit of a break, because monies, I'll keep an eye out for that. But yeah, uh... Dun 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 I but, forgot what, what, what was the sound of Vulcan Raven. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, just not going, burn, burn, burn to the ground, burn to the ground, burn, burn. <laughs> this is not doing that over and over. All right. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Uh, no, no, yeah. Basically, uh, it's, uh, again, to, we're operating on FF8 logic. Oh, his fists. Uh, sorry. Oh, his sword. Our shotguns are useless against the sword. And apparently even at, uh, except this is even more, uh, because in here we have to destroy a fucking tank with just our sword. There you go. Of course. <laughs> so, so what you Also, and, and I have to believe that the, uh, one of the sages was trapped inside it. Uh. Yes, so apparently. Basically, if Nath so basically, if Nathan Drake had a sword, he could have got through that tank level in the Well, Dwebs, no uh, just get to the end of the, the final boss of Uncharted 4 and then be able to decide for yourself uh, what can Nate do with a sword. Let me guess. He kills. Um... No, 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 no. He doesn't kill anyone. It's just that uh, there's a. Let's just say there's a sword duel. It's pretty awesome. Anyway. Sword duel. And now we're. Um, uh, this ice cap level? zone? Yes, now we're in the ice world. It's not even oh, any specific joy. place. It's okay, just the better. ice world. No, no, I got it. T -T ice physics with the isometric perspective. See, those, those here, I got it. We're in the. It's... We're in the ice. We're in the ice cave from Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Yes, uh, well, actually, actually, you're pretty much on the money because uh, the puzzles are pretty much in, of that sort. So yeah. Also, yeah, yeah. so delicious. Okay, now I'm playing the ice cave theme from that game in my head. Da 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 da. da. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I have to push the manage to find the, the way to push that ball into the thingy. Which so is charming to see this kind of fix this with this engine. I just devs. Really? 
you, you, you were that then again this was made in the same age that battle thoughts was made so I guess it was a thing of developers being dicks at the time mm-hmm well, remember too. All at the time, uh, game rentals were at, in the high, so a lot of developers made games intentionally very difficult, so that it wouldn't be impossible to be beaten over a week, over a weekend. Yeah, it's like, it's like Johnny said about the first Echo of the Dolphin game. Yeah. Well, but, but, but Echo of the Dolphin had passwords, though. It did. Yeah, it did. Again, I haven't played. I think I only played. Uh. uh I, 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 I had uh, dis at disposal all the classic, I could, I mean, so uh, the first one, Tides of Time, no, not Tides of Time, the All the, all the one. Echo games are actually available on the various Genesis collection collections that the they have. Yeah. So I, but the only one I really play, I forgot if it was the first one or the second one. Well, depends. It, is, is, it, is it the one that's... Not, okay, okay, here's, here's one way I can uh, realize. The head start with uh, all the dolphins jumping uh, over the water uh, from um f like uh, and just seeing everything from behind them i think so then it's the, t the second one the tides of time which is my okay. my my my, uh, my favorite uh, I, I, I i'm i'm positive i haven't played at all echo junior because oh no echo junior I sucks think. even echo the dolphin fans don't like it <laughs> okay it's pretty much the ace ventura junior of games basically okay come on well at least the worms are easier to kill nice. than that giant one earlier it's interesting we're talking about sega because apparently um they've acquired a studio that makes a series called endless mm. uh huh and that and they are uh, link babes uh, uh sure Anyway, uh, this puzzle works in a way where the moment you enter the um, the the room, the four the four platforms start rising at the same time, and every time you step on them, they stop permanently until you re-enter the room. So basically, it's a matter of um, trying to build a stairway to get to heaven. No, Dwebs, not to heaven. S sadly, no, Dwebs. So yeah, and trust me, because of the ice physics, uh, this is inc is this is way harder than it should be. No, <laughs> that last stair is a dick. Yeah, can, <laughs> can you believe how much pissed off I was at that? No. Trust me. Tr not only do I have a really short time, the ice physics, the fucking ice physics. <laughs> yeah, like really, it's just uh, sadistic. Okay, done. And now we're fighting the elements themselves! Wait, what? Yes, we're fighting the elements themselves! Wait, if we if we destroy the elements, does that mean we can't use them anymore? Uh, actually we can, it's just that these are... Uh, you know what, Dibs? I'm tired trying to make sense out of this, you try. Um, no wait, I got it. These are the evil elements, and by destroying these, we restore the power of the light elements. Oh. But light is not one of the elements. The ele there you go. And yeah, as the moment you kill one of them, various amounts of um, you know element charges are dropped, which means that this is the oh. best place in the game to grind for magic. Oh, thank God! For, for a second there, I thought it was going to be if you kill it, it'll just multiply it and gang up on you. <laughs> uh, that would be that'd be pretty dickish. But then again, this game is kind of dickish anyway, so... Uh, well, okay, it is kind of dickish, but it's the... I think it's a... I personally think it's a tolerable kind of dickish. It's not that... Like, for example, that puzzle that I just saw with the platforms. Yeah, it is dickish, technically, but it's not something you cannot um, get done with a bit of practice. As you, as you saw just now, I didn't, it didn't take me long to get through that anyway. I didn't even have to edit or anything, so... Eh, whatever. I can handle... Trust me, especially considering that you might you might have noticed how I'm now recording Sonic and the Secret Rings. Yeah. Uh, trust me. After right. after playing Sonic and the Secret Rings, anything is a fucking godsend oh, so in terms it's, of. So it's you are recording that. Yes, and trust me, I'm, I am, I am. Ugh, that game drives me nuts. I, ugh. Because it's autopilot. No, 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 uh, Teo. Trust me. You don't. You have to play it yourself to realize why that game is painful. Oh, we, we the controls in that game are so broken it's uh, uh. but let's talk about that in the actual yeah. commentary 
that, 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 that basically, basically tell you that's a commentary for us to do as a break after Uncharted 2. Yeah, sure, sure. No, but that reminds me also. Do we also have to redo Sonic and the Black Knight? No, well, no, no. Me, Dwebs, Jove, and Shiro did it. No, yeah, because I was very in two for a couple of episodes. I remember that, but it was ah, a long you were, time ago. You, you, were, you were like a guest star anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Just kind of like you were in for Sonic 4. No, 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 no. Again, I forgot uh, if we if it was too much of a go and we had to redo it. Nah, no, no, no. It's fine. Don't worry. So, Red Dragon again. Yay. Even if we had to redo, we would just save it as a non-TO play for just for the sake of having more to do anyway. Alright, come but, on. So basically the developers ran out of ideas and it, let's just react to the second boss. Sure, why not? One of the most annoying ones. Well, actually, tell you, this one is much easier to kill because uh, this one is much flies much lower, so you can actually beat him by just jumping. You don't have to deal with platforms. So this one is actually, as you can see, it takes me a lot um, short time to kill compared to the original. So this one is this one this one isn't really that bad. Ow! 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 I'm being hit by the flames. Yeah, blah blah blah. blah. We already know this. So blah 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 blah. Okay, well, what if the plot twist is that one of these guards, no, say these wizards, is doing this speech, but then all of a sudden he zaps you in the middle? Actually, remember we already had that uh, plot, that kind of plot twist where um, the the guy who asks us to find the four orbs turns out to be the villain of the game. All right, I forgot. Well, I don't blame you because this plot isn't exactly the most memorable. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, see you, everybody. See ya.